Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Tuk Tuk's Trinkets and Terrain. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a few work in progress photos of a project I had intended this week's video to be, but it became a little more complicated than I originally estimated. So I decided to postpone that project for next video and instead bring you guys a tutorial on how to make uh, a slime skeleton miniature. Uh, I posted this guy uh, online a few weeks ago, uh, the skeleton ooze guy, and he got a lot of good reception, so I figured I would show you how to make one yourself. It's super easy, anybody can make it, it's really cheap as well. All you're gonna need is a skeleton of some kind. I'm gonna use this uh, dinosaur skeleton I got. Uh, a base, uh, I've got these old plastic ones, but you can use cardboard, MDF, whatever your preferred base material is. Uh, a hot glue gun, your preferred Oops. cutting tool and then your preferred paint. I'm gonna use yellow for my dinosaur here, but you can do whatever your heart desires. So let's get to it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy. So first things first, we need to prep our skeleton. Essentially, you're just gonna break down your skeleton into as many or as little parts as you want. Uh, I cut off the skull to start here and then I am going to damage it up a little bit, remove chunks, uh, make it look like it's been through some harsh conditions. It is inside of a ooze after all. Um, again, you could do this as little or as much as you want. I, I have found that there is really no limit to how much is too much, so just do whatever looks good to you. Um, you can see here I'm cutting off the tail in a couple different chunks. Uh, I, I find it works very well if you break up your skeleton enough to give it a interesting or meaningful pose. Uh, you can see on my human skeleton that it's got a very leany sort of unnatural uh, action pose to it so I wanted to try that again with my dinosaur skeleton here. You can see I've broken it down into a bunch of different pieces, damaged them all up uh, to some degree. Now this next step is uh, optional uh, but I decided to do it. I mixed up a bone color and then I went ahead and painted all of the pieces of the skeleton where I damaged it uh, just to give it a more cohesive look rather than just the bare plastic underneath. Obviously the paint doesn't match perfectly but to help that I mixed up a very light brown wash and coated the entirety of the skeleton in it. This ended up being a little too light but it's going to be mostly covered with hot glue and other paint so uh, it didn't really make a big difference. But if you do a good job uh, painting your skeleton to look like an old or bleached skeleton, uh, it'll look that much better in the end. I didn't put a lot of time into this, but you know you can do whatever looked good to you. Uh, once everything was dry, the next step was to start hot gluing stuff together. So to give the pieces some space, uh, I find that it's useful to uh, put some hot glue on the edges where you know you're going to want them attached and then let that cool completely so that it provides a gap for all your pieces. Uh, and another useful tool during this is to use a cup of water to rapidly cool some different shapes uh, onto your skeleton. You can see I've made this sort of half circle shape to give uh, this mini a very long unnatural looking neck and then just hot glued that straight to the skull uh, and from here, it's just about reassembling the skeleton however you want. There's really no limit to this at all. Uh, you can do as much or as little, but there are a few things that I want to point out while you're doing this. Uh, number one, which is obvious, hot glue is hot. Uh, you're working almost exclusively with hot glue here, so just be extra careful where your fingers are. Uh, number two, take your time. Uh, when using hot glue, especially as not only an adhesive, but as a building material, uh, putting hot glue over already cooled hot glue will reheat that glue and weaken your bonds. And I have found that you will lose the already solidified bonds uh, on your, your skeleton. So take your time, let things cool 100% before you move on. Uh, and again, watch your fingers as you're gluing. Number three, low temperatures are preferred. If you have a hot glue gun with a low temperature setting, 
you should 100% use it. It'll make your time a lot easier and it'll go by a lot faster as you won't have to wait as long. Uh, it's also a lot easier to work with. It gives you more control over the details that you're trying to get. Number four, water is your friend. Like I said before, uh, using water to instantly cool your glue makes things go by a lot faster. It also lets you cool things instantly in a preferred spot. So for instance, if your glue is dripping down and give it a nice uh, you know, drippy long strand, but it's still too hot, it's gonna keep dripping, just dunk it in water instantly cool it and you'll get yourself a nice good looking ooze drop which leads into our last one which is gravity is your friend if at all possible keep your skeleton upright a hundred percent of the time it will let the glue fall naturally uh, as an ooze or you know a thick viscous liquid would uh, but you can see here my finished product uh, and all that's left to do is to paint and painting's really easy. You can paint this however you want obviously But I like the idea of seeing the skeleton through the glue. So essentially all I did was Water down my color in this case yellow. You can do whatever color you prefer Water it down to almost an extreme and then just slather it all over the skeleton uh, I went a little bit further and darkened my yellow with a little bit of brown just to give it a little bit of color variation. That's pretty much it. Super easy, super simple project. You can see on my final step here, it is glossy. I ended up doing a little bit of a gloss varnish because I didn't feel it was slimy enough looking, but you know, you can do what you will if you're using higher quality paint. Sometimes you end up with that gloss regardless. Uh, and here's my human skeleton as a, just another idea for you. Obviously, any skeleton will work, any color will work. This really has no limitations other than uh, what you have on hand, really. So that's all there is to it. I think these guys turned out really awesome looking. They're nice and slimy and goopy. Uh, if you make one yourselves, I would love to see it. Uh, you can tag me on Instagram at Tuk Tuk's Trinkets and Terrain. You can find the link for that in the description below. Please make sure to like the video, leave a comment, share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it as well. Uh, and also make sure to subscribe. My next video is gonna be a big one. I'm gonna be showing you how I made the Yawning Portal, the famous tavern in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, so make sure you subscribe, be on the lookout for that video. But more than anything, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.